Roll it, baby. <laughs> Go. <laughs> well, have, hello and welcome, everyone. We are so glad you're here. Welcome to our leader meeting, August 2023. Oh, my gosh. 67. It's time to get revving. And that's what we're here to do for all y'all leaders. This is your time today. We're going to take you through what happened in July. Get you ready for August. Just a quick review so you don't forget everything on the table for you and the tools you have. And then we're going into your leader live chat. So, Jack, let's take us to taking a view of what happened in July. You, you know, go. as leaders, we want to always share with you what we call the KOYs, Key Operating Indicators. These are things you want to know about your business. We wouldn't share just corporate info. This is the information that you want to be tracking every month yourself, okay? So we want to share with you July. So let's take a peek. We know you all love to see how is the general market doing versus the Hispanic market. You can take a look here. Um, what happened to our general market? We always take a look first at what was our active consultant count at the beginning of July, and then we get to ending consultant count. You need your base active. Bottom dollar, your role as a leader is to keep that active consultant base ordering at least once every four months. If not, you're at risk of losing that team. So mm -hmm. let's take a quick view. So in sponsoring, the general market um, sponsored 129. And then you can look at the Hispanic market. They sponsored 1,300. Okay. Now they are just under four times bigger. So if you do an in general comparison, you can do the math. Our goal would be to have 500 compared to their 1300. That would be a, a fair number because we're three quarters less size. So you can see it was a very low sponsoring month. So leaders for all y'all, are you and your leaders sponsoring every month? So it's just for your thoughts, okay? What would you have to do different in 67th year to be sponsoring every month? A team is going to go down. Your income is going to go down if you're not sponsoring monthly, okay? So that's what we look at first. Then we have how many reactivated. They were inactive and they came back, okay? So we had 500, Hispanic had 1,200. Okay, how many did we lose? Uh, we lost 1,100. This was a big month of loss for our market. Um, as compared to, again, if it was equal four times, they would have lost about 4,500. They had a better maintenance of maintaining, not losing consultants. That's your P's who went inactive, okay? So this is the number that went from P to I. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is our loss in our base, 530 our largest loss of 2023. <clears throat> Hispanic, again, comparatively, would have lost 2,000. We, they lost 867. So they had a really good base save, okay? Now look at the percentage of, cons this is the number of consultants out of the active base that ordered. So about one in every three active consultants placed an order, okay? That's how you can almost look at that. So that gives us a 38% activity rate. Again, low, one of the lowest of the year. Hispanic also had a lower one for themselves, but ours was much lower. So you can take a look here. They have one in every 2.5 consultants ordering. So again, our challenge is when we look at these numbers, what are we doing to um, literally keep our base active and ordering and sponsoring, okay? That's the role of a leader. That's what commission is for. So just food for thoughts. Here's our retail sales. Here's our average order size per consultant, Spanish versus English. Here's our leader count, 235 versus 1,400. So again, they have about seven times more leaders than we do out of our base, okay? So that's in general. All right, then we're going to go take a look, Jack, thank you, at July, Jackie G, Jackie P, so West, East. So this was our base when we started in both regions. This was our sponsoring. Um, again, I always look at the number of 
branches that we have to the number of sponsoring. Okay, it doesn't mean that was one per branch, but again, if every branch added just one or two every month, we would really truly be at triple digits as our goals are, okay? So in a new year, take a new approach. What is stopping me and my team from sponsoring? If the leader doesn't sponsor, the team's not gonna sponsor. So we just wanna give you some thought starters because a new year is a new beginning. So again, you can take a look comparatively. We're pretty similar in what happened from losses and base size. Our tip, excuse me, activity rate, <coughs> number of ordering consultants, pretty similar. Our size, somewhat similar. And again, here's our count of leaders from West Coast to East Coast. Okay. So we wanted to just bring you that update. Um, I will just do a quick pause. Does anyone have questions? Um, on our KOYs. And again, these are things you want to know. What's your average order number? What was your total retail for the month? Um, what happened to your base? This is you using your reports to run your company. This is the Jaffra company and you have your own company. So this data is what you want to know. How many ordered out of my active base, which is your activity rate? Typically, you want this near 50%. Typically, we want to get these orders over 300, 400, right? And we want sponsoring to always be at least the number of leaders in our base, okay? So per branch. Okay, so let me be quiet. Any comments or questions on any of this? We want to just pause for that. I, I don't have a question, but it's just... I don't know, something just hit me. It's stupid that it just hit me, but I don't have control that of the people that are inactive. I don't because they don't communicate with me for whatever reason. And I don't have control over that. I can email, call, whatever, no response, nothing. But I do have control over the number of people I offer the opportunity to. So I have to focus on that and get, instead of getting all stuck on why won't she call me back? Why won't she used to call me back? Why won't she call me back? Why won't she answer my text or read my text? So I'm going to focus more on what I can control. So that's all. I think <laughs> that's, that's very wise. <laughs> very wise. No, that is an excellent point. Agree, Dia. Um, agree, Jackie. It literally, I mean, Jackie and I also, Jackie, how many people did we text in the month of July? I would say oh my close, God. close to a thousand each. <laughs> At least a thousand each. We did all of the VIPs, pre-VIPs. We did all of the P's. Um, we did all of those closing accounts. We did the same DIA, but you always do it. Here's the key. You said it beautifully. Don't get stuck on it, but it's a service. It's like, it's shopping time. Your, your cupboards are running bare. Mother Hubbard's here to help you shop, right? It's a fun approach, not a have to approach. There's a gift in it and a reward in it. Um, and you can add drawings to it. Jeffrey always has, you know, the P's and the I's get a gift. So we drive that and it's good for you, Dia. The magic is, do you all have a system with your P's, your I's, not yet activated, um, pre-VIPs, right? Those, what is your system? Because you have to do calling and texting and email. It's a three-way campaign always to those groups every month and help them shop, they're clients. They're really clients, aren't they? So, but don't get stuck on it. Your role as a leader is this number right here, new people. You it, Because again, the others are clients, they're gonna order when they're ready, but you just do good service each month. So thank you for that comment. Anyone else with comments or thoughts or Jackie, anything you wanna add to that? No, I think y'all covered it. It's it's hard to look at numbers when you see loss. And sometimes when I look at it and I just get like, mm. but it's also important to remember perspective. And it's also important to remember that we're sowing the seeds or we're, we're reaping the seeds that we planted 90 days ago, right? So if you want it to be better, start today. And that's all you can do. I love it. Excellent. Okay, Bronwyn, go ahead. Okay, so... um. You know, before our actives always used to receive a catalog. And to me, that was um, a reason to keep them at it. 
because I got a lot more questions throughout the month from active consultants receiving the catalog. And now they don't, and yes, they get it digitally and all of that. Um, VIP perks, I, I've lost my VIPs, I had two. I don't have them anymore. And the comments that I've heard is, well, the VIP perks isn't just what it used to be. And in a way that's true. When you go to the VIP shops, it's, I'm gonna say it's kind of disappointing. There really isn't any, wow, I gotta, you know, uh, order this or um, a couple months back there was a to me a perk of ordering $198 worth of retail in your VIP shop and you were getting like a, a bonus gift uh, to me that's an incentive so um, do you see anything in the future in changing that to support So they launched a little bit of a new way they're going to do gold, silver, bronze, VIP club. So I don't know when they're launching that. Do you, Jackie? I'm with the new website and in, in the time that the new website comes. I almost just spoke out of turn. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> when the new website okay, so launches. We do, have, we do have something then coming in the future to be like an incentive to, to be active and to, um, yeah, to be a VIP. Yes, it's and coming. it's, it's gonna be, they, they can have a skip month, like your top platinum level, let's call it that. I think that's um, what it is. They showed that at convention, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. they're, if they do it every month, they're platinum and the perks get better. If they skip a month and they're gold, the perks are less. It's identical to my flight perks at Delta, right? So the more I fly, the more I get. So yeah. that relaunch is coming, I believe, as well, Jackie, with the new website. Mm -hmm. um, so stay tuned, September-ish. I believe we're launching it for quarter four to get it rolling. Um, so that will happen. I want to come back to the active mailing. What we're doing and spending on a website, we can't mail anymore, okay? Okay. So this is partnership. We want to give you the bells and whistles of a business model that helps you sponsor and grow like no tomorrow and help people make money. So we invest in that. If you feel mailing catalogs is the ticket to your clients and consultants who are clients, mail them yourself. That's the only advice I can give you. I'm sorry right. I'm being blunt, but it's true. We don't have a mailing service. It's so expensive for our perspective. Do what? It, what is your pirate ship? Is that what you have, Jackie? Yep, sure is. Yeah. So, because if that is what your team needs and you need to grow, there's where I would invest some money then. So I love the topic. I don't see Jaffra in the future going back to mailing to consultants, period. It's not where we're putting our money, but you can put yours there. Does that make sense? It makes a lot of sense and I really appreciate you answering it in that way because now we have it on a recording and it's um, it explains things, it simplifies things. So thank you, Jackie. You're very welcome. Great questions. This is live chat day. So we want to make sure we pause with everything we do to help you. So that's a great, I honestly, if I were in your shoes, Bronwyn, I would be mailing them to my clients that need them and to my consultants, it's a great topic, but I'm not gonna wait for Jaffra. I'm gonna do it because I'm here to grow. So I love I love that question. Thank you for the topic. It's it's a really important one. And many of you are in the same boat. You know, so, we used to mail them years ago and correct. we didn't complain about it. Of course, postage was cheaper, but everything's relative. And then we got lazy because Jaffra had this wonderful service and it was less expensive. And now we don't want to go back to that, but we did it. I know I did it. So great. So did I need to do I'm it. Gonna, I'm going to give you a little tip. Spend your money doing the things that grow your income with more zeros and commas. That is a, a no brainer project that I wouldn't spend eight hours in a day when you're worth $500 an hour. Don't do $5 an hour tasks. So my only suggestion is. There are caboodles of people that are your clients and even your consultants 
who would work for free Jaffa products. I strongly encourage you to hire someone to do the no brainer things that take a lot of your time, have someone do your mailings for you and pay them in free Jaffra. Just like a house cleaner, you swap services, right? Free Jaffra, free cleaning. So my only suggestion is think of yes, the cost, but don't spend your time doing those small little tasks. Does that make sense? Yeah. So one thing about mail and brochures that everybody needs to keep in mind because it is expensive to mail them. I mean, it is really expensive to mail them. You need to track it and you need to see if you're getting the bang for your buck from the people that you're mailing them to. And if you're not, then you're basically throwing money away. So if you're mailing them and they're not ordering or you're mailing whatever, you know, whatever time period you feel like is a good return on that investment of postage and, and the brochures, because the brochures are more expensive now too. Um, I was just going to say that. Yeah. I mean, they're both more expensive. So you really need to make sure that, that, that it's, that you're getting some bang for your buck. So. If I may. Um, I don't have the perspective of the past to go off of. So when I look at the business, I look at it with eyeballs that have seen far less than y'all have. And I feel like sometimes I look at it like a new consultant would look at it. And like for the VIP shop, for example, and I'm not saying that any of you do this, but when you're, when you're bringing someone new in, remember that they have no benefit of perspective. So what they see is the best it can be. And when I introduce somebody to a new section, I, I always am going to say, this is your VIP shop. These are the perks of being, being a VIP, whatever, because they don't know what it was. They only know what it is going forward. Yeah. And if you're spending a ton of time cleaning the mess, of this is what it was versus this is what it is. For me, I would rather spend time looking for new people who don't have that baggage and then just loving my people who have that baggage, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. Because I don't want to, mm -hmm. I don't want my well of new folks to hear from what was to what is. I just want them to know what is and what can be better um, going forward. So that's my perspective as a person who has no benefit of, of history. I just know what is, and I'm excited to share it going forward, if that makes sense. Can I add to that just a little bit? Yeah, sure. It's kind of like, you know, a lot of our big retail shops, like Walmart, they used to price match. And that was a huge shopping point for their customers is they would price match. They don't do that anymore. And if you focus on what they don't do anymore compared to what their new pricing is, what their new strategy is, what their new marketing is, and kind of know that everybody changes, everybody has new policies, whether they're for the better or for the worse, and dwelling on it or trying to say, I wish they still did this doesn't really change what they're going to do. Things have to change with time, whether it's, you know, going more digital, shopping, you know, curbside, whatever, it's just kind of going with the flow and the changes as much as you don't necessarily agree with all of it. Yeah, right. for sure. So let me, so good point. Thank you. Let me add one more thing and then we're going to move on. So the one more thing is this, I see this in other direct sales companies that I purchase from. You can do a client subscription program of your own. And what do I mean by that? Um, and I don't remember uh, what my consultant's name is, but literally she charges. It's like this VIP client club. It's a subscription and you pay like, I don't know, I think I paid $20 and, but I get her brochures every other month, but inside of the brochure mailing is samples. So there's samples and recipes. Okay. So again, and you, she gives you a coupon at the end of the year for a one-time half price item for being in it. She had some perks. 
So if you don't want to put complete out of pocket, get creative. You own your own business and you can do a mailing subscription for those customers and consultants who want the catalogs. Otherwise, it's free. So again, think a little outside the box and think other ways you could have that without it all being completely 100% out of your pocket. You know, that so, just triggered, just, that just triggered something okay. for me when we did the, um, when we first came out with the retinol capsules or the eye capsules, you know, you buy every month and then your six month is free. So it, that just brought back that Great whole fun. subscription, you know, keeping them engaged into the product where they're ordering consistently because it's a 30 day supply. Yes. Thanks for the reminder. Okay, go ahead, Diana, and then we're going to move on. Well, everybody, yeah, well, I like what Jackie B was saying, and I think in a business, you always have to raise the bar when it comes to expectations, otherwise you don't grow. And I see um, on July, a lot of my consultants that only work with the, used to work with the brochure that the company sent, it was one, right? They were ordering a package of five and the catalog, which it came in a package too. And I have seen some of the consultant ordering for the last three or four months, uh, brochures. They will never order brochure. I mean, they will place their order every month but it was with one brochure. So that's no problem. I don't have that conversation with them anymore. So it's about being patient and see the evolution process to happen. And it, it does take some time. I'm doing the same with uh, encourage, encourage them to send messages to all the clients to check out their websites because we had to move our business now, today, with the expectations that our biggest income may come from our website. And I see now, it's, it's just so nice to see a lot of my consultants um, copying me what they send to their client and they are saying, check out my website for weekly offers. That's the excuse. The excuse are the weekly savings, flash sales, et cetera. That is the catch. So they get a routine of saying, oh, I'm going to Diana's uh, website to see what is going on this week. You know, that's what you want to create. And so we as a leader have to keep raising the bar when it comes to expectations. Oh, our business is not going to go. We cannot blame Chafra for everything. And, you know, they give you lemons, make lemonade. I mean, they are possible. That's, okay. That's it. Love that. Awesome. Thank you. If you have any other comments on any of this, feel free to put them in the chat or any hot topics. Jeff, we're going to roll into, that was our review of July. Let's take a quick flash forward to what we have for the month of August. So before we go there, we want to give you our August goals, oh, right? Yeah. So, okay. so you're going to see, we're going to be posting these goals every week. We're going to be tracking and measuring. We'd love to see the number 67 for the 67th year. So I ask all of you, when you set your goals, do you have goals for 6,700 in Central District, six, how can you use the number 67? That's what celebration is about. Be proud out loud in everything 67 um, because very few companies get this far. So here we're posting our goals to have 107. We should be at triple digits. We have 111, 124 leaders. That's everybody, each one reach one. Everybody has a former list that's ginormous. So it's time to get loud and proud and give people the best gift we were given as leaders. And that's the opportunity. We want to grow six new leaders in each region, 107 new consultants. We want to see our bases growing. We don't want to see any more minuses because our peak season is here now. Um, and again, a number of ordering consultants in our sales. So we do this because we want you to know your KOIs and we want you to know your goals for the month. If your team has a goal and you're updating them each week, 
they're going to celebrate. Everybody loves to be a part of a cause and a campaign, and they love success. They read it. They might not comment. Don't get stuck there. Just keep goals in front of a successful team. Have drawings and celebrations like we do when we achieve goals. Okay? All right, Jack, let's take it to, before we go, we do want to say bravo to all of y'all who did three QNCs last month. Some of you are going for Vegas. You're in your last month. I'm going to say you're going to need a blowout month to get your, your uh, goal to get to Vegas. So set your goals now, but we celebrate Jamie Cruz. Look at this, four consultants, one leader and four consultants. I am in awe of this. What do you think, Jack, about four consultants earning the three QNCs? I don't know about you, but I see four future leaders right there. <laughs> I think it's incredible. We don't even have the list who made it, so we'll tell you next time. But Belinda Carr, Maria Duran, uh, she, I know she promoted because uh, Norma Lopez. So we believe Teresa Moore promoted. She did. Because she did. And I Teresa think Moore did. with Vicky Hacking. Belinda Carr is with Inez Cox, correct? Yep. Okay, awesome. Congrats. And Chani Fields is with? She's Mentories. Um, mm. I'm, I don't remember who her director Mentor. is. Yeah, Cecilia. she's Mentories. Oh, yeah, she's Cecilia. Cecilia? Is it Cecilia? Yeah, she's Cecilia. Yes. Awesome. What is that? That's what I thought. Okay. So cool. Cool. So did she promote to manager, Cecilia? Yes, she did. She she promoted to manager. Oh, yay. My heart is so happy. That's awesome. Yay. Uh -oh. I think Jackie's frozen. Congratulations. Yay. That's so cool. So we, we believe we have quite a few to manage. Yeah, so cool. Okay, so congratulations to all them. We'll get to hear from them and meet them um, in one of our upcoming Zoom meetings. So let's take it away, Jack, and take a look at August here. Happy okay. Birthday. Happy birthday. I hope you're singing every single day on your Facebook pages, in Instagram, and celebrating 67 years. Oh, my gosh. It never looks so good on anybody else but you, so get loud. Okay, so let's go through. We're going to go through two quick steps. These are quick reviews of what's on the table. So step one, building your team. So when we take a look at this, Jack, I'm going to give you step one. I'll come back in with step two. So take it away, girlfriend. Awesome. So reminder that you have the Start Royal Kit has been extended one month. I think it's the final month, you guys. So let's celebrate Jaffer's birthday with the Start Royal Kit. And you also have your other kits, your three $200 kits and your other faves kit available on the table. Same, same as July. But we have a little extra sponsoring challenge on the table for you. So with your first QNC, you get the Jaffra shoulder bag from, um, from Jaffra. Uh, with two QNCs, you get the a nine-in-one tool. But, okay, first, on JBI, every single Thursday, there's going to be a live raffle for folks that have sponsored that week. Awesome. So tune into JBI every Thursday. If you're not in JBI and your teams aren't in JBI, get them in and make sure they answer those entrance questions. Okay. Number three. So we just loved seeing all those consultants with three QNCs. So we're up in the ante. So this is general market exclusive. With your third QNC, you're going to get a mystery prize from Jackie or I, or both of us, you know, however we put it together. Um, that's worth at least $67 to celebrate. And everyone who gets three QNCs gets to celebrate that with us. So we are really excited to put together a bunch of surprise gifts. And I know that y'all are really excited to grab them up. At least you better be anyway. Um, so continuing with your packs, packs are the same as they were in June and July. New consultants get one. Um, the only opportunity they get is during the month that they join or the month after, but let's pretend it's just August because I don't know what they're going to do in September. Sponsors, you get unlimited packs, one per every QNC you get. So go out there, do your sponsoring, grab your packs. Um, and that is the same really as July. Helping your July QNCs grow in August. If they become QNC'd again 
in August, you get the um, makeup artist apron, which I think is pretty cute. It's a cute little tool. It can go with your um, little smock that you had in July. Uh, was that May? That was May, I think. And then the top two in each region um, are going to get the purple Swarovski crystal necklace. Here are all the tools we have. Reminder, all of these um, Adobe links, Adobe web pages, are in guide number three on the Facebook page. Here are all your links. We have upper, what is that, left, is the former consultants. It gives them a rundown of why coming back is awesome. You can utilize that in a text or in um, an email. We have for the requalified new managers, um, we miss you in leadership. If you have somebody that is the con with the asterisk, this is somebody who can come back um, as a requalified manager and earn that new manager bonus still again in August. We have in the lower left, the Jaffra chat, which has our opportunity video and a comp plan video that you can utilize to bring new folks in. We have on the lower left, the um, welcome new consultants. We're utilizing that every week. We're welcoming your new consultants to Jaffra, encouraging them to go see their sponsors and their managers to get more information on how to run their businesses. Um, and in the center is how we welcome all of our new managers. Um, I send an email <clears throat> every time a new manager qualifies, um, welcoming them to leadership. We're so excited that they promoted to manager and we give them a backstage tour of Jaffer Biz on how to utilize their reports and their website's um, perks. So that is all the tools that I have for you um, out there. We'll send out these slides, but these are also in guide number three on the Facebook. Um, we're also sending emails and texts to bring back formers. If you have formers that you want to bring back, utilize this right here, this Adobe, um, showing them all the awesome things that are going on in Jaffa right now. Um, I'll update that. Everything will be updated to August by the end of the day today, if it's not already. I can't remember if I did it yet. Um, but we want all of your former consultants to come back to celebrate 67 years with us. Um, however long they were with us in the past, um, know that the big bright future is coming um, with our new website. Um, we've gotten some sneaky peeks at that new website. And you guys, it is aces. I'm so excited to share it with you. And if I can advance the slide, we have arrived to step two. <laughs> Love it because I love a party. So we are going to start the party for August. I love that you were most excited earlier when we came on about what's new. And one is the Nova Marine. This is going to be an incredible mix and match. If you look in your August brochure, I know is a hot topic. This is an incredible enhancement to the regiments people use and to getting new clients as well of all stages. Again, you can watch the business meeting. We're not here to repeat that for you, but what will you do? Our whole purpose of a leader meeting is that you're making your plans. So, and you're setting goals and you're recognizing and, and getting together with your teams. How will you launch Nova Marine to your customers, to your clients, your consultants, your leads? How will you be in your community getting loud and proud? How will you be online? So really pause and make a plan. You just go, oh, we have some new products. This is a big deal. So we know the vegan free, right? So vegan is a big deal. We've got it finally. Then if we go to the next slide, we also um, are excited because the eyeshadow. We did on the business meeting and in our WhatsApp, we did tell you all that if you want the offer with that eyeshadow, we don't have it right now. It's stuck at the border, as you know. It will be coming in um, August 7th or 8th. We will let you know. If not, you have to take the substitute eyeshadow right now. So we have the skincare, but we're waiting on this one, okay? So anyway, we're very excited about that. You've got the weekend to get it going. Our anniversary is August 6th. So we want to challenge you all to really take the next three days Add more to your team by Jan and Frank Day's birthday, August 6th. Get parties booked. This is a time to say anniversary celebration and get the message out about this incredible, unique skincare. There's something more we wanted to remind you of because we didn't hear it in the business meeting. And that's the cause to Nova, to Novo. So 
you can take a look. You can Google Novo, Novo Marine. There's all sorts of information in uh, Google about that or go to your uh, AI chat guy, right? But we also wanted to remind you, and again, another reason to add another layer to your story is we are partnered with um, Org Cause, which is Ocean and Wildlife Preservation. So this is all about, we're taking um, some of our sales and contributing to this. You can follow them on Instagram. And I'm just going to do a quick little clip that I Googled. And I wanted to talk a little bit more about what is it. So just a quick one. This is a short way to say this. Orgus is a nonprofit, sorry, it's a nonprofit organization founded and led by women of different ages, nationalities, and educational backgrounds. They have been working for conservation of marine life since 2021, and 50% of the oxygen of the earth comes from the ocean. We also know that this really is all about everything within that ocean. We couldn't be more proud to bring the science of Nova Marine, which again, Google that, and Orcas together with a cause. So science and cause is our new platform. So thank you, Jack, for that. Let's just keep on growing. And as we scroll forward, we also wanna take you to the story of our other product that's brand new, Diamond Union. Oh my gosh, Diamonds Union. I know Techie said it's her fave. It is my fave. I can't go without it. I carry that big thing in my small purses because I can't go without it. And we have a challenge for you all. So you're going to see sponsoring every Thursday on JBI. You're going to see that we're also going to have one winner in the East and one in the West region for the top seller of Diamonds Union. So be thinking, how do I get Nova Marine out there? How do I get Diamonds Union out there? How do I get our team rallying? If Jaffra is only having one winner, why don't you have one in your branch? Take what Jaffra does and duplicate it. You could do Freedom Friday and every Friday give something away for everyone who sponsors in your team every week. Duplicate it. There's national, but there's you. You could also then do something with Diamonds Union. So I love, again, what Jaffra does as a leader, you pause and go, wow, I like that idea. I'm going to do it with my team. So they could be a winner in my branch or district, and we could have winners at national level and regional level. All right, Jack, let's go on. And I've got a delay down here. Thank you. So we also know that we saw in the business meeting that you all loved hearing Mayam. We love our Mayam. She is our senior marketing planner. She, we love how she presents product to us, brings us innovation, ingredients, information. So guess what? She's going to be your, all, your guest next Tuesday. So that's our monthly regional celebration for consultants, even guests, and every single leader. We want you to have as many people there as possible. Mayam's going to do a live 30-minute chat with you all. What do you most want to know about our products today? What innovations can I help you with to sell more, book more, sponsor more? And then the leading trends of the future. So don't miss it, but utilize our meetings so you're not duplicating your time. You're absolutely bringing as many people to each meeting. We only have one a month for all consultants. So bring them here. And we're going to also hear from our panel of the National Recognition Achievers. You saw the big checks going on. You're going to hear from that panel. And we're going to also celebrate our top July success achievers. And we're hoping to get some of those consultants that you just saw with three QNCs. Come on in and tell us what they did. So it'll be our place to honor them, welcome them to leadership, and celebrate them. So don't miss. Put in your planner every day how you're going to build attendance for Tuesday. That doesn't happen because you think about it plan to. Can you text? Can you email? Can you messenger? Can you WhatsApp? What's your method to have everybody there? Okay. All right. Let's move forward. Jackie, thank you. Eventually it's coming to you. I promise. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. So what do we have this month? We just wanted to do a quick pause. We saw this in the business meeting. These are your host offers of the month. So this is where you're booking 67 
parties, facials, whatever you're doing, give your team the challenge to do 67 facials this month, right? Or get Jaffra sampled somewhere on 67 bodies. So this is a great one. Um, again, you could have, you know, six hostesses, seven hostesses. The key is you got to start booking today to be able to do your parties for the month. So we look at this special, <clears throat> the $300 special with the $300 party, they're commissionable, takes these three products, some of our top three products down to $6.50. Go to the right, <clears throat> excuse me, our flawless offer with our $400 party takes their products down to $8. These are also achieved promotions for every consultant you have. So you wanna get that message out there too with their three and $400 retail order. If you look at page 43 of the August brochure, Jackie, if you don't mind grabbing your brochure, will you just tell them the update on those pages for me, please? Yeah, absolutely. So we have been chatting. Um, I'll take my background off so that you can see my pages. So I have been chatting with Mayam about these two pages. And I know that the wording is a little confusing and a little weird. So let's just clarify. So with this glow set that you get to choose for $59, okay, this glow set, you get this hostess set for free. Um, it is not based on whether you have a party. It's not based on whether you have um, a, an actual hostess of a gathering. Um, it is just a you buy, you get. So anybody who buys this glow for it set gets this hostess set for free. Okay. And in there are the revitalized minis and the Royal Almond minis and two fragrance minis. Okay. So that is just a, with this, you get this. Um, but let's think about how we could use that for hostesses, right? Because this glow set is a super awesome sampler, I think, of what we our favorites are and what we could use as a hostess gift um, or as a hostess set. And then they can get this whole thing for free. So I asked because I didn't understand the wording. I thought maybe y'all didn't understand the wording. Um, so know that this is not based on whether or not there's a party hostess, but that it's an introduction to Jaffra and that they can get this set for free when they grab the glow set for $59. Cool? Cool. Thank you so much. Okay. So I do want to pause a quick minute on the Nova Marine. There will be sachet cards. Okay. So remember those beautiful Royal jelly cards we had, we're going to have sachets. Um, we will have travel sets, the, the ones, some of you that went to convention, um, got those in your waves boxes. Um, so you're going to see those coming out as our orders are coming in, okay? So as we get those supplies, all right? Sachets are just the little square foil packets um, that they open and tear, and they have a one or two time application usage. And the sachet cards will have all three products on a postcard, okay? So... That is great with those subscriptions for mailings if you want, right? But again, just a wonderful opportunity, okay? So, Jackie, let's go forward. <laughs> so, as we also have more challenges, we have more challenges. So, we weren't talking PowerPoint here. Okay, so here's what we've got. We're going to be doing more live. So Jaffra is going to have, it's going to come out this week, okay, by the end of this week, they are going to have um, a, co a contest, more raffles for live every Thursday. It's going to be any time you get together during anniversary month to be with folks, you're gathering people for a facial, a back of the hand facial at Starbucks, you're doing a Zoom room, a, a Facebook event. Anything that you're doing, you're doing a joy meeting, you're doing a team meeting, people are gathering together. You will register your event, okay? Again, one-on-one, -on -one, it doesn't matter where, who, how many, but you're getting people together to experience Jaffra's beauty and beauty opportunity. You will click in the link that's gonna come to you all very soon. You will put in your data, like how many people were there, what happened, what was the result? but you have to upload pictures and videos, okay? So everything you do, have the magic 
lovely phone in your hand at all times. Be taking pictures and videos. You'll be able to upload it right there at the link. And every Thursday, when we celebrate the sponsoring winners of the week, we're going to also do drawings and raffles for everybody reporting because it's a Jaffra party. We need to see people, invite people, and celebrate 67 years with more people using and joining Jaffra. So watch your email. We'll be sharing it in WhatsApp. Every leader needs to be on WhatsApp. If your leaders or your downline is not in WhatsApp, please get them there, okay? Next, get everybody over to JBI and our Facebook group. All right, Jack, let's go forward. We and again, by the way, if Jaffa is doing this, what could you do? Could you do? Yeah. All right, there we go. So yes, tabletops. Oh, I'm losing it. Hang on. Okay. Yes, tabletops count. Okay. Anything you're demonstrating Jeffra, you're seeing people talking Jeffra, playing Jeffra, inviting people to Jeffra. Yes, yes, and yes, you will report that, okay? Don't get limited, just get with people, okay? So again, I say to you all, what are you gonna do? Jeffra's doing this, the region's doing this. What else can you do to duplicate, maybe do the same process um, and just let them know they put in their report and tell you that they reported and you do your own fun Friday, okay? So, all right. Let me come back to the audience quick before I go to chats, okay? So is there any, thank you, I appreciate that. Is there any questions on what we have from building the sales to sponsoring for the month, our campaigns, anything? All the tools Jackie and I reviewed with you. Anyone have any questions on anything? Questions, comments, concerns, okay, compliments. Nothing in the chat. No, we're good. I'm checking the chat right now. Anything? It's the first I've been able to see it. I have a question, a quick one. Yeah. Go so, ahead, Dia. Thank you. Just clarify the Adobe thing. Is this something a new, a new program you're using, and it's just it's just the same training and stuff that we've always had at our fingertips, but it's easy to access because people don't use Facebook. I mean, I don't know what it is. Sorry. Let me show you. Actually, um, so the Adobe uh, links are essentially websites, web pages that we have built here let's do let's start with this one that we have built to help you get information out in a more um effective way okay so i'm pulling up the former consultants so we miss you former consultants page as an example okay so when you share the link to any of these these things um they get essentially a website that lands them on all the information they need to know for this one in particular to come back. So there's a little video of our two dumb faces um, doing <laughs> dumb face stuff, right? <laughs> but Last we also day. have, right? We also have our floor show, um, but we also have all the information they need if they just want to read it and they don't want to watch the video. So I have to update this one with the new August slides, but it gives all of the information on the kits that ship for free. It gives them information on what their host offers are. Um, again, I have to replace. It gives them the information on what they get when they bring in a QNC information on what they get in this in the packs um information on let's go back up information on how they get those packs um if that if that's something that they want to utilize in their business and then we give them just a little sweet video the jan day video um inviting them back reminding them who we are who they are and asking them if they're ready to jump back in to a business that they've always loved and there's our silly faces again but these tools are an easy share if folks need to get this information or this information and you want it all in one place. Now, I, if you remember on a leader meeting, maybe two or three months ago, I was showing y'all how to do these yourself. You can do these yourself. So you can take these tools that we've built and make your own 
with your video, welcoming a new consultant, welcoming back a farmer, welcoming a new manager, and take the information that the walkthrough on the new manager um, video is on Jackie's YouTube. You can grab that walkthrough that I did and show them um, all throughout their back office, show them how to utilize the information that we have for them. Um, you can do the same thing within your own branch to share with your own team. Um, it's a duplicatable, super easy one link to send when you're welcoming a new consultant, a new manager, or welcome back a former. Um, so we did them that you can absolutely utilize and should utilize, but you can also make your own and utilize it. Welcome back all these people, welcome in new consultants and give them a tour of what it's like to be on your team. Because y'all, we're a part of your team too. And as we share and as we welcome back these people or welcome new folks, we're always pointing them to you, right? In the new consultant message, it's reach out to your manager, reach out to your sponsor, learn more. Um, here's how you use your back office. If you have questions, ask your manager. We're always pointing them back to you guys um, because you're their leaders and you're, you're the ones that they should trust. So you can always use the information that we're giving you, use the tools that we're giving you, but you can also make your own. And if you need some help, um, there's a recording of me doing that for you a couple mm -hmm. of months ago. And Jackie won't let me do all of your pages by myself, even though yeah. I would if you asked. And just, she won't let you ask. So. No, I won't. So. <laughs> Here is a couple of tips for you all. You already have all these links. July 27th, we emailed every link to every leader. Please read your emails, click and learn. Our goal is to make your job so easy. Use what we've got, send it, invite people and follow up. Some of you have a thousand former consultants. We already have a video that says, do you miss Jaffra? We at Jaffra miss you. If you want to make your own, go for it. But if you don't have the time right now, we have new consultants, new manager orientation. We have former consultant. We have one for anybody taking a look. And we even added the comp plan training to it. We did a mini joy and comp plan training so they can see how to make money two ways. We literally spent a lot of time to make your job so easy. Just share the links. They're in your email. We made two for sponsoring and we gave you a whole pack from before. If you also go into Facebook, our Facebook group, and you go to guide, I think it's number three, all of the Adobe's are there for you. But watch them, take the time and then utilize them. And when you want to make your own, great. If you go into our Facebook group, and you go under, um, just type in Adobe Express, okay, or Adobe Training. If you do that, or you go to my YouTube channel, our regional YouTube channel is Jackie Geisinger. Please go there, and you type in the search bar. You can see how Jackie is teaching you how to do an Adobe Express. We just did them, okay? So, again, it's called a lot of fast ways to communicate and invite people and succeed. We send our Adobe email to every new consultant every week. So it's our regional orientation. I highly recommend you have one for yourself as well. Um, but if not, it's okay. You know what we're doing so that you're the follow-up phone call. And we do it every single week to every new consultant. Okay. My favorite so, tour every great week. Great question. I appreciate the question. Yes. So, okay, we want to bring you any other thoughts, comments, questions, compliments, anything to step one and step two, anything that we just went through, and then we're just going to end with your live chat. I saw earlier, okay. Tucky From had there. a question about social oh. media, but I don't know, yeah. I don't know what it was. I saw it pop my screen earlier. Because I was trying to save it for the appropriate time. I, I oh, girl, this time as the appropriate time. <laughs> so um, I watched or listened to the podcast on that was recommended yesterday in District Builders. And it talked about how only 20% of your social media should be about your business 
and only 20% of those should be an offer. So I really listened and I'm already intimidated by social media. So I'm really just hung up on how much is too much, how much is not enough, how much is the right engagement. And Jackie already knows my fears of the do's and don'ts of the words I can't use, et cetera. So I just kind of wanted to get some more feedback on appropriate social media. My rule of thumb is always that you have to earn your offers. Um, a couple of you have sat with me recently and we've talked about this, but you have to earn the ability to offer. So for every 10 posts I make, if I'm sharing about my business, for every 10 posts I make, only one of them can be an ask. Everything else has to be an, a service. So if I am problem solving or I'm offering awesome um, solutions with my products, that's still okay. Um, it can be, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? It can be product reviews. It can be testimonials. It can be testimonials from your clients. You can offer, you can show the benefits um, of products, but you can't ask for anything more than once every 10 posts. That's my rule of thumb for my business when I had one, um, because I didn't want people to fatigue on me asking for things. Um, what I wanted was for them to come to me as an expert in my field. Um, if they wanted to learn more for my personal brand, if they wanted to learn more about skincare, self-care, handling their outside stressors, they would come to my group. If they wanted to learn about cats and coffee and dealing with parenthood, they would come to my group. So they knew that I would always provide them a service when they showed up. They got more from me than I asked for from them. So as a rule, I go for every 10, you get one um, ask. And those every things- Every 10 business posts or every 10 posts in general? I mean- I don't like to mix business and pleasure. Um, so on my personal page, you get a lot more of my personality. Um, on my, I'm talking specifically about in my VIP customer client group, um, I would provide much more than I asked for, if that makes sense. A lot of y'all run your businesses different. Um, some of you don't have a VIP client group. Some of you work only off of your business page. And that's fine. Whatever you choose to do is so fine. Um, you just need to utilize the tools that you have by giving more than you're asking for always. Social media content creation, social media content creators are constantly giving more. And the most successful content creators are always giving more than they're asking for, right? I'm not gonna link you to a product if I'm not gonna tell you first how to use it what I think of it, what other people think about it and what benefits it's gonna give you. I'm not gonna ask for more than I'm giving. Does that make sense? Absolutely, it helps so much, thank you. Cool. Yeah, no problem. Anything else? Okay, cool. so yeah, let me, let me go to this, all right? We're gonna do just a few quick minutes on a few topics, okay? In like, our live chat so and then you can add anything i didn't see any other topics in the chat so we're going to roll with just some thought starters okay so here we go so first this is just for you on a scale of one to ten in your own notes how well versed are you at your compensation plan Every little detail ingredient, it's the most important product you need to know of every ingredient and what it does for others. On a scale of one to 10, where are you at knowing everything comp plan? I'm a nine, maybe an eight, give or take. Okay, awesome. All right, type your numbers in the chat. Ooh, I see a nine, I see a five. I like it, Sylvia. Honesty is awesome. D, is it a three? I dig. Awesome. I see another nine, a four, a nine. Okay. Cool, cool. Okay, we're going to do a quick quiz, Jack. Okay? I'm ready. Let's go. So, number your paper. Okay, let's, let's do this. Number your paper, one through seven. Okay, this is fast. All right. 
First one, how many titles are there in our compensation plan? And don't include consultant, the comp plan is starting at manager. Okay, how many titles are there? And I'm gonna go quick, because you gotta know it to show it. All right, and you don't have to answer in the chat. You're gonna do your own quiz on your paper. Okay, number two, how many levels of district manager are there? Number three, what is the monthly district paid retail volume you need every month to be a district director? Oh. <laughs> number four. Yeah. Number four. All right. How many direct branches do I need to promote to be an ambassador? All right, number five, how many levels down can our district directors get paid? How deep can they go? Number six, you better know this one. How many indirect sponsors do I need every quarter to earn my $500 manager bonus. And number seven, I'm gonna stump y'all. Okay, what is the starting life insurance amount of a district director? Yeah, I make a mistake. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna grade yourself, okay? And mm -hmm. I could give you 30 questions. So you can just unmute. What's the answer to number one? Eight. Eight. There are eight levels of leadership. You want to climb all eight? All right, number two. Three. What was the question Three. for number two? Three. How many levels? The answer is three district manager levels. And how many district director levels? Three. 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 Great job. What is the volume of a director? 20. That's the only one I didn't know. 20, a lot more than I do now. 20,000. 20,000. That's because you have no leaders. That's why it's hard. It's not hard. If you take 20,000 and divide it by six people, you're only a little over three grand a month, okay? So number four, how many teams does it take to be an embajadora? 15. 15. 15, okay. Number five, how many levels down does a director get paid? Five. Five. Have to be square. As many. Nope, only five. directors. No, nope. directors all stop at five. five. Ambassadors are the only wide and deep. Pays to get rich at the top, man. That's where the money's at. Okay. All right. And question number six How many indirects do you need for the $500 nine. bonus? Nine. 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 And number six seven, direct, what is nine this? indirect, right? You got it. Nice job. And what is the volume of life insurance beginning for a DD1? I think it's 150,000. 112,000. 112? 112. 112. 112. 112. 112. Why, did, why did it add 125? You don't need a why, it's just what it is. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, I sell life insurance, so they're usually a good number. <laughs> so here's the key. What is the most important product you want to know before you care about Nova Marine? I know I love that, but I'm telling you, your best product is your leadership compensation plan guide. Mm -hmm. Where do you learn more about it? Comp 101 video or Jaffer Biz? 
leadership guide and mm -hmm. Jeff Redviz. Adobe Express. Good job, Gia. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We have Wait, it in the please. Adobe Express. We we did it there. We have it on my YouTube channel. We got an email in August in the last few days that have um uh that highlight that and then you can get into it and have all lined up for you too. Buenos Thank days. you very much. We we put in Jaffra Biz the compensation plan training, because we expect you leaders to be showing that to your groups every month, every week. You won't attract people if they don't see it and they don't know it. So we gave you the slides in Jaffra Biz from National Convention. I car keys. And I will tell you, it, it is the way you will grow and develop in the comp plan, right? So... Let me pause a minute. Is my Wi-Fi going out? No. no. You're fine. You're on a delay, but you're fine. Okay, it's okay? Yeah. I know, I feel really delayed. It's driving crazy right now. So um, anyway, so I love your comment, Diana. So- That was August 1st. I, I tell you because I was looking today and I was making copy to send to my future managers so but um anyway so august 1st if you keep going all the information going to us to say um re what called <laughs> new new managers and requalify manager and then you can click on and have all the information there and you can go spanish and english back and forward and anyway so i make a screenshot and i'm sending that to my people And the easiest way you can share it is use our Adobe link. It's really done for you. So, okay, Jackie, I'm losing my Wi-Fi a little bit. So mm -hmm. I'm going to turn to you for some of the next chats and or any comments on comp plan. I feel like I'm almost going to get kicked out here. You're doing fine, but I will absolutely take it away, Sam. Okay, so uh, we also would love to know, and we can just open mic and chit chat about this. What are some of the training and compensation, um, like training that you have in place? So for example, do you have a meeting with your folks um, every week, month, whatever? Do you have like stuff that you do to connect as a team? What do you all do to work on training with your folks? I started um, doing branch meetings last month and I have one tonight and basically I'm trying to do it before like the first week of the month so that I, everybody knows what's going on, especially now with this new Novo Marine. So everyone's excited. I've got at least a few people coming tonight and I had a good turnout last month and just mm -hmm. want to do that consistently the first Thursday of every month and cover all the promotions. I will incorporate the um, comp plan because that's a really good idea. I think they need to know what's available for them because they just think, you know, I can just sell this and get 50% off and maybe go to manager, but they don't think anything else. They don't realize, wow, you know, all this is there for you. So yeah, yeah that, it's been working out and getting good results back from it. I think tonight's going to be even better. So and like them asking them to bring guests, that type of thing. So cool, cool. What kind of coaching, like, are you, do you have an office hours time? Are you offering anything to folks, um, any of you really, that... Yeah that opens the door for them to come to you? Is there a time that, you, that you're that you open to that? Anything, anything that you all have on the table? I have a um, two chats. I have one that's Ashley's, um, my upline chat. And then I have one that's just my downline. And then I have a group that is just my downline. And since it's still fairly small, um, we still are pretty intimate, but I also, have a very strict rule in the chat that it is Jaffa questions only um, because I love Ashley's where we can be real and we talk about life situations and everything that's going on but the Jaffa questions tend to get lost and some of my team members have been upset about that um, so to each their own so that's why my chat is strictly Jaffa stuff only so they can feel like they can go into Ashley's and they want to chit chat about life or stresses or wins or whatever but Mine, they know their Jaffa stuff's not going to get lost. 
So that's just what I'm doing for right now. And as I grow, my options will grow. But right now it's pretty small and intimate. I like that. And I like having the expectation of this is what we're going to talk about. It's almost like having an outline or minutes of what you're going to do during your meeting. So I dig that. I think that's awesome. I agree. I think that's awesome. Kentucky, that's what I'm doing too. I'm actually having an agenda, sticking to what they're there for. The reason they're here is not just to visit and chit chat and talk about blah, blah, blah. Because you can get off into all kinds of topics, you know, religion, politics, whatever. And if you stay focused on one thing and you follow an agenda, I would love to be like the Jackies and be able to pull the people back into what we're actually talking about because sometimes we get off focus. So I'd like to stay on the focus of what the meeting's all about and get it to the point and have it start and end when it's supposed to start and end and not go on forever with, you know, stuff that doesn't be in there. <laughs> Cover the topics, get it done and be done with the rest of your night or day or whatever. Yeah, for yeah, sure. We do, we do a Zoom every Monday night and we start off with brags. Um, with everybody just just a real quick brag from everybody some people don't have anything to add but it's a jaffa brag it's not a life brag unless it's a really big life brag mm -hmm. um and then we do training and they're never more than an hour they're i try to keep them around 45 minutes um but they're never more than an hour and um it's just a, a pertinent training topic that that works i mean this past week we talked about the 67th anniversary and what we were going to do and as a team everybody came up with offering that fruitopia lip balm with a 67 dollar order so kind of like a gift to you for our anniversary um i love that so that but you know it's just but i love um michelle's idea about doing the um the board for every 67 dollars in orders you get your name in a drawing you just can't do that on social media because it becomes a illegal raffle type thing that you can't do. But um, you, can you do that in private groups or no? Yeah, you can definitely do that in a private group, but anywhere that's public, you can't do those. No, you can't. So, um, so anyway, um, so that's what we're doing. But, and then I have a weekly newsletter that goes out on Mondays as well. That's awesome. So along those lines, are okay what what tools are y'all using and what tools do you want to know more about um like for example are you using canva if you're not what do you need to know are you using adobe express if you're not what do you need to know are you using um a call multiplier or a text service or or a MailChimp or any of those things i really just almost said email monkey because i was thinking oh. about survey monkey like my brain is broken. Um, but like what services and tools are y'all using and what do you want to know more about? This is mostly a, what gaps do we have here that we can help you guys learn more about? Um, D all of the above. <laughs> Tucky's answer is yes. <laughs> yeah. I, I think it. for me, it's because I'm still new-ish and my team and customer base is so small. I feel like I'm not there yet that I need those, but I also need to learn how to do that because I plan on growing because I'm have these big, huge team goals. So it's probably better to start learning it sooner than all of a sudden, boom, I'm, you know, got a hundred people under me and I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. That's how I feel most of the time just in life. Um, but so I saw Pat Clover come on video, give me a big old thumbs up and then disappear again. Hi Reggie. Um, Oh. Good. What's up? I'm gonna mute it's you. Uh, what is it? There we go. Okay. Um, we so, come. Oh. Sorry, I just had a question and then it flew out of my brain because I'm a squirrel. Shafika, were you talking? <laughs> come back to me. <laughs> no, I was saying for getting together, um, we we do it in the whole DMV area for any consultants. So we have Carol and Pat and myself and Linda. As leaders, we all um, get together and like meet at IHOP in their meeting room here um, uh, once a month as far as for all of our consultants and leaders and in our branches. So, you know, we we train, we celebrate new consultants here, um, you know, welcoming them, welcoming, welcoming them as far as into our Jaffa family. And, you know, we do brags also, too, and talk about, you know, um, any problems anybody's 
you know, going through, but it gets gives them a chance to meet everybody and everybody's different branches and districts here. And um, and and a lot of them have partnered up with each other, you know, and done things together here in Stepson. I love that. And I love that y'all share the load. Mm -hmm. I think that's really special. And you can do that even if you're not all together, like locally, you can do that. You can share the load on social. You can share the load on Zoom. However, however your personal team operates, you can, you can still do that. You can still share that load. Mm -hmm. um, if you guys check out the, the chat, Jackie threw some stuff in the chat, which I think is really valuable. So like, how do you learn the comp plant so that you're sold on it yourself so that you can sell other people? Um, take this list. If you guys can like grab it, copy paste it, or I can copy paste it into the leader chat and use those questions as prompts for yourself um, to come back and figure out what you need. Because if you have a gap somewhere, you don't know what you don't know. So use the prompts and I'll throw it into the leader chat. You don't worry about it. Um, use the prompts to figure out where your gaps are so that we can provide the, the stuff that you need to feel full and ready to go. Um, I know I personally, I know what my gaps are because I try to figure them out to help y'all, right? So as I see what I need to learn, I pass it on to you guys. So use those prompts. Um, come in and and let us know what you need so that we can give you what you need uh, to fill those holes. Does that make sense? Give me a yeah. nod. Give me some eyeballs. Cool. Um, yeah, Tucky screenshotted it, so it works. Um, but we are, we are five minutes out from time. So is there anything else, Jax, that we want to talk about? Are you able to unmute? Come back yep. to me. I got it. I feel stable. I feel stable again. It's so good to be stable. So um, okay, so other, is there any other live questions you have? Like, like, do you feel you know your reports? Do you have gaps in those record training? Anybody just got a hot Q&A? Anything they most want to ask? I, I, I understand numbers, but I struggle with what are realistic goals for a brand new manager, newer consultant, newer team of <clears throat> what's realistic, what is fair, what is, because when you only have a handful of people that are active and only one or two that are like really working their business, it's kind of hard for me to like really push big goals when there's not really many people doing much, if that makes sense. So it's like, I, I have big dreams and ideas and things I want to do for them. But when there's only one or two people working, I want to recognize them. But if they're the only ones doing anything, I feel like, is it really make sense when it's only one or two people really pushing and working? Does that make sense? It does. And I think that you can take, you can take what great things are happening and recognition isn't just once a month, right? Recognition can be Every day you can celebrate a small win. Every day you can see, I used to catch people being um, awesome and on their on their like Facebook or whatever. And I'd screenshot it and say, today I caught Sylvia being awesome. Here's what she did. Um, today I caught Diana being awesome. Here's what she did to share her business that day. So recognition, you can pull out anything that you want that suits you. Um, and suits your team to recognize the awesome stuff they're doing. So in that what's realistic, I think take your, what you want, if what you want is to have your, hit your manager requirements, right? Take what you want and figure out how many people you need to continue to do that. If only one or two people are working, that means you better be out there sponsoring. You better be out there creating more movement on your team. Um, and and taking those those goals and working backward from them um, to be realistic and to be, um, I don't want to use say opportunistic, but to take those those end goals and turn them into mile markers along your your month um, to get the movement that you want to see. So if you're only seeing one or two people working a business on your team, then your little booty better be out there 
finding new opportunity and creating new opportunity for your team so that you guys can continue to move forward. And I mean, that applies from manager to DD3 to ambassador, right? You have to constantly be creating movement. 50% of the people on your team are going to place an order in a month. The other 50% are going to sit at zero. And that is just fact. That's direct sales fact. You can have a really special team that does more or you might have a very casual team that does less, but you're constantly needing to replace attrition or you're going to find yourself drop. And that is truly just facts, right? It's gross fact. We don't like it. We don't want to talk about it. But if you're setting goals realistically, it's always replacing and not replacing because we love our people. It's constantly growing. It's constantly bringing someone new in, constantly choosing to recruit one a month or one a week, excuse me, constantly choosing to grow outward so that you're able to preserve what you have and keep building on top of that. Yes? Yeah. Yes, thank you. Cool. Yeah. Let me add to that, Jack, and then we're going to step away. Oh, so here's Jesus. a couple of things before we wrap up. Okay, so I say this, and you're the leader, so it's a great question from Tucky about herself, but this is how we work with people. Everybody needs to write their blank paycheck. So you work backwards, right? So you say, okay, I'm willing to work X amount of hours a week. I, I need to make this much money. If you don't know what you need to make, exactly, blank paychecks are the answer for how do you coach a team member how do you work with anybody? They This is to be paid. This is a paid business. So it starts with, Tucky, what do you need that paycheck to be? Now, how much of that paycheck, okay, the income you're going to drive from your business, how much of that is from your personal sales? So how much are you willing to work for to sell? So if she needs to make two grand a month, she said, I, you know what, I need to be in control of making, you know, 200 or two, 1500 of that from my sales. Great. Then I got to break that down weekly. We got to break it down to daily. And then what percentage will come out of that commission check? Well, from your own sales, 11% of that will be $175. Now we have to get another 325 from your team. So you break that down by the number of $400 orders. And is that coming from new VIPs, whatever. So you want to know your average order size, just like we do in our KOIs, because how many will order you, how many QNCs, which is 400 a piece. So I encourage everyone to do a business paycheck with your consultants and your leaders and work backwards to how to get that. OK, what you will sell, how you will influence and sponsor. So, again, I believe in that mechanism. I believe a blank check is the ticket and work backwards how to get there, because you're right. You can't get more out of a small group. You need a bigger group. So sponsor one a week, a week might not be enough if you need more income. So um, I just want to just add that in. Be paycheck writers. It's so much fun. Number two, I want to um, close with this as well. The biggest thing that people love about direct sales is recognition. If you don't have a, a specific day of the week that you're posting, you need a group mechanism. I don't care if it's Facebook, WhatsApp, um, a text group, a messenger group. Where does your email, whatever your mechanism is, what does your group do? Okay. Where do they see recognition? every week and then so if it's winter wednesday thriving thursday please be consistent okay then what do you do is you also want to make sure i love shout out days check your reports daily but then have a big reco and report day one day a week and then do shout outs throughout the week i love all the things that you're all typing and saying it's fabulous you can never over recognize and, uh, and over appreciate. Direct sales, that's what makes direct sales different. That is your brand of a leader, whether you do it or you don't. 
So people aren't going to be just motivated by a prize. It's those shout outs. So get groups together, get into a reco and report routine, period. And then look at Jeffers training, look at the corporate office training, look at the regional training, look at what we coach. And sometimes you don't have to duplicate what we do, just be the follow-up to what we did. So after a meeting, do coaching after. What did we learn from the business meeting today? And let's make your plans. Don't do another meeting, but do a follow-up after the meeting. So again, if we you have people in the coaching group, you want to have them ready with weekly appointments with you if they're team growers, if they're district builders. You're the follow-up. We've got platforms already made. So I end with this. Today, we started what we called live chat. We want to turn our WhatsApp into live chat share, okay? Instead of what Jeffra, again, we don't mind having, you know, okay, hey, we've got a problem, Houston. Can you let Jeffra know? We love that, okay? So that helps us help others. So please use WhatsApp for that. We're not there to give product suggestions. You have Jaffra Cares. If you have suggestions, that's called Jaffra Cares. It goes to that department. If you have feedback, um, go to us privately. Sometimes it's hard for us to find what we're posting because we have so many conversations. Not that that's bad, but tell us in your WhatsApp. Let's keep live chat going. And that is things that you most want to learn. Maybe you do have a gap. Ask for gap helpers. I have a gap. I'm struggling learning how to do Canva. Would anybody like to help? Or you ask, how do I learn Canva? And we can post where all those trainings are. Does that make sense? So, and then share. If you're doing something cool with your clients, like Cheryl just shared, please share that in WhatsApp. Our WhatsApp is to learn in a community to share ideas and help everybody become the best version of a leader community and get to the top, not where we are. We've got eight levels. So we do it together. So I want you to really think what your WhatsApp leader group chat is for. And we're going to keep doing more and more live chat time with you. We could have been here for an eight hour seminar today, but we started the thought so that you use WhatsApp for that. That's your chat box all the time. That's your AI team right here, okay? So, um, Jack, anything else? I've got a dash. I've got to get off to some wedding things today. So you anything else before we go? I will answer. Pat Clover has her hand up, but if we all want to send Jackie okay. off to be on a meeting, off you go, friend. See you later. Bye. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Happy anniversary weekend. Bye. Yeah. Have some fish.